Okay, in this uh, video, let's look at the stock rise uh, that's happening in the current time. And we see that the stock market, S&P uh, and the uh, Dow Jones index, everything is at an all-time high. Now, if we break down uh, the reason of uh, why the markets are at an all-time high, we see two things. And they explain here that the two things are earning growth and multiple expansion. Now, uh, whenever you give the exam or whenever you are giving any test and you have a question of contemporary news, they'll ask you things that are most relevant right now. So if you are an investment manager right now, you, you need to take care of the investment, you need to understand how the market is behaving, what are the fundamental risks and the uh, things that are happening right now in the market and how can you save your portfolio, how can you take the right trading decision if you are sitting on the uh, trading desk. So the reason for the market at an all-time boom can be seen as uh, uh, a result of two things. The first is earning growth and this is the EPS growth, earning per share and we use the diluted EPS. So whenever uh, we see the EPS of all these companies, they are still rising and this rise is moderate. This rise is because of the macroeconomic factors. They are selling more, their net income is increasing, their uh, sales are increasing and so on. And the next term which is really driving them with the market is the multiple expansion which means that these multiple of these companies and if we we'll, if we try to find out their price it's P by E into uh, EPS. So the P by E multiple is moving uh, with the market with the uh, uh, with the overall economic scenario with the trend that goes on in the S&P and that's really taking these things ahead. So both of these things are rising, the P by E is rising, the EPS is rising, but the rise of P by E is uh, something that is uh, uh, very dangerous uh, in, in terms of it can reverse any time in terms of uh, the market sentiment. So when we look at the, this, uh, if, if we divide the things into uh, what drives return, whether it's the earning growth or whether it's the change in multiple, and if, if you see the rightmost side, it is uh, more towards uh, earning growth and, and like, like during the recession or those market uh, it, it was more towards uh, you you got to see the earning of the company but now it's more towards it's being driven by the multiple so whenever you have got a boom if, if you see this uh, 90 to 2000 the dot-com boom in, in the entire decade things were taken because of the multiple expansion the overall multiple the overall price to earning ratio EV by beta ratio was very much high and the same is happening now and, and, and there is a theory that suggests that if, if this breaches a particular point, uh, we, we might see a correction, we might see uh, something like a, a small recession that happens after the dot-com boom. So, so that's one way to analyze how things are moving, one way to look at how, uh, how you are going to find out whether this is the right time to exit or how you are going to uh, protect your portfolio from the next downturn that, that might take place because of uh, the peaks that are being touched each day. So this was about the equity market update. Just remember two things. Uh, in the equity market, uh, the, the markets are at an all-time high. The earnings are very good. The multiple uh, is very high. It's as high as the dot-com boom again. So th things might see correction, but, but we don't know really when that correction would happen. So there are uh, interesting articles and chart of the day that you can get which will talk about whether this uh, a correction is due or whether still the market is underpriced at an all-time high level in the last uh, 15 years. So I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for listening.